What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is ranking the 50 state welcome signs. I do like a welcome, well, a welcome sign. A, a what sign? I do like a welcome sign. <laughs> we do like a welcome sign. It's important as well, if you're visiting somewhere for the first time and they've got the ugliest welcome sign ever, it's not a good first impression. The thing is, is I'm thinking about one right now. I'm thinking about Rotherham's. It's beautiful. And then it, you go through. <laughs> is it a beautiful sign? I can't it's remember. It's a nice sign. See? When you visit, visit it's a very place. nice sign, but then you drive past a sign. <laughs> it's just not like the sign. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine if it was a bad sign. Yeah. Oh, it, it would be even. It, yeah. Everything would be bad, wouldn't it? So welcome signs are important. Smash that like button if you enjoy, guys. Smash that like subscribe button as well. You absolute legends. We're pre-recording, aren't we? Yeah, that's why I messed up. It's quarter to twelve. Yeah, it's quarter to twelve. That's why I messed up. With we'll that. wait for. We're going to Rotherham actually for the last time this year. We're going to save this every video and take it quickly. So because we've got a week of pre-recording videos, we're not going to know if you've hit right now. We don't know if you've hit one sixty. Oh yeah, we may hit that. I wasn't going to mention that, oh, but I... we, we may hit that. So subscribe. <laughs> um, but from the third of april i'm not sure what day this is going out from the 3rd of april to the 9th of april we will be uploading 48 hour early access on one video a day so if yeah. you if you want more early access of easy sell to patreon it will really help us out obviously we've got the baby coming as well we're kind of just trying to push patreon a little bit to help us so we'd really appreciate it if not and watching the videos and enjoy them is enough yes like millie said smash the subscribe button because hopefully we're getting close to 160,000 subscribers which is mental I know you're ready. Yes. Let's check out ranking the 50 state welcome signs. What we got? How are we? It's Kyle. It's Kyle. Howdy. It's Kyle going over <laughs> the welcome signs to each of the 50 states. If you're on a cross country road trip, it's always kind of exciting to hit the next state line. You see the welcome sign and you pull over to the turnout, get your picture with it, and then move mm -hmm. on. And that's going to be your first impression of that state. And of course, first in the impression. grand scheme of things, a welcome sign isn't that terribly important. But well, again, it is going to be it your first impression. It kind of shows what the state thinks of the interstate leading into its state and how it wants its first impression to be. And just like other videos where I'm ranking the state capitol buildings and the state flags, this is all just my opinion. So think of it more like an overview of the 50 welcome signs just presented in my personal favorite order. Okay. okay. Dead last is New York. Oh, Look well, it's pretty bland, isn't it? You don't have time to read a thousand word essay when yeah, you're driving a lot, too much words miles going an hour. Advertising as well. Even if you're a well. passenger, you don't have time to take all this in. It's far too busy. This stuff should be at your welcome center, not on your welcome sign. Yeah, Ooh, no, good point. I next agree. door neighbor Connecticut sign is also pretty bad. It looks like pretty they're going to put something else on there. Couldn't decide what to put. And this puts some kind of bumper sticker off center on the That's sign. It just doesn't look good at all. Yeah, pointless, isn't it? Ohio's looks pretty amateurish and childish. A bit with better. Font and find it here. Like what? Herpes? So I know a lot of folks in Ohio don't <laughs> like this sign. This is the brand new sign. Kyle sure going so much. It. <laughs> say, find it here. What? Herpes. <laughs> what? Kyle, bro, what's happened to you today? <laughs> I'm going to say, I did not expect that. Oh my it, God, it does, To be fair, it does look a little, I can see what he means about a little bit childish. But at least I think on there compared to the other. Childish and herpes, I feel like that's not a good, <laughs> that's, you should be saying that in the same sentence. The old one was a lot better. Wow. Washington's looks Ooh, like better. one you might see entering the state from a back road, not the interstate. And a bit better. It also looks yeah, like one of the welcome signs from the early days of interstate travel in the 50s and 60s. So I think they need to update it. And this needs to look a little bit better. It is old school, isn't it? I think what hurts Nebraska the most is the font. I yeah, think what it says, Nebraska, good. the good life, home of Arbor Day, is all pretty cool. It's just the presentation isn't quite Yeah, good. the lowercase yeah. is bad, isn't it? Alabama's is pretty plain looking. I, like I think that, the though. whole Sweet Home Alabama thing has been overdone. And oh, I like cool. the old Alabama one better. It said Alabama the beautiful, but... Oh, this is what... Yo, Kyle's welcome. Kyle, bro. Kyle, something's happened today. 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 Something's happened. We like the sweet home bit. I like it. I like it. that sweet home. Oh, man. Alabama. It, they could have made it a bit more exciting. I can't wait to see what West Virginia is. You know, actually like. really annoys me, bad boy. Which is me being, look at the corners. They've rounded it off. Yeah, they've not cut off the corners. They've kept it square. That's actually really annoying. Oh, I'm going to have to go take my scissors. <laughs> what they got now? Well, it does at least say welcome to Idaho. So at least it's for that. Yeah. Maine's is kind of like Nebraska in that I it says Alabama. the right stuff. I think it's pretty cool yeah, what it says, welcome home. but We're not going home. the presentation is pretty bad. This looks very blah. Pennsylvania that went the same nice. route as Ohio a with a childish, whimsical font, but the problem here is each of the four lines of text is a different font. A graphic yeah, designer yeah, would look true. at this and cringe. Because. North Carolina's is okay. It's got a picture of the font. I, I think like it's that. been the same sign for about the past 20 years or so, but... 
The one thing I hate about this sign is that it always has to say state line. So when you see that sign, you know you're at the state line. So saying state line is just kind of redundant. (laughs) Vermont is kind of like Washington's. It's monochrome. It's not very exciting. And it looks more like the sign you would see entering the state from a back room. So I think it needs to be updated, but it looks okay. But I think it could look a lot better. I've never really liked Texas's right. sign too much. What is it with these corners? That's actually really... Yeah, it's really buggy. If you me, haven't actually. seen corners on a sign, I know the states don't actually care yeah. what we think. Yeah. You're but... getting a downgrade. I'm not... I'm sorry, but you, this is not good. And also, what is it with the different texts? Yeah, different texts is I weird. can't cope with it. Imagine, it's kind of like North Carolina's with a picture of the flag, but what I really don't like about this sign is that I can't think of anywhere in the US where the drivers are less friendly than Texas, so... <laughs> I think the way to improve this sign would be to put a wink emoji at the end of it. That would be much more appropriate. I never quite understood the pure Michigan slogan. It's kind of a strange slogan for a state, but the sign looks okay. It's in a pretty neat setting, and I like the blue and the font of the M, so it's an okay sign, but definitely not one of the best. If there's one state that comes to mind when I think of the word legendary... It's hard to read, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. That's probably and one of our worst ones. Again. I don't like yeah, it. and the gap is. We've been very picky. We're watching a welcome signs video. We're being the gap picky. between the top and the bottom is yep. not. And equal. again, just get your clippers out. I've seen a couple which have been cut. Right, do you know this. what? I'm going around every state and clipping them. Yeah. <laughs> you did it for the back one, the brown one. Nevada. They did it. Well done, Nevada. Cool, you don't get it. It's right. such a small that is sign. A good one. It's hard to see the detail in no, it. So if you're driving like by, it. it's hard to tell what that is an image of. And the sign is only about the size of a speed limit sign, which is uh, similar to their to previous bigger. welcome sign. So I'm not sure why Nevada likes such small welcome signs. Bigger. They look pretty cool. I agree. I know we're talking over video. It's pretty. By the way, we apologize, but we are. And uh, I've turned Kyle up, so hopefully you hear him a little bit more. We're going to we're gonna definitely get comments about it. into Kyle, man. No, we're definitely going to get comments. The thing is, is I'm just talking while we're... We're just enjoying Guys, This just... is more Come of a... on, let's all just... Take a deep breath. I I, I disagree with Kyle, though. I like that sign. I like it too. I Maybe a bit bigger, but I like that sign. And they've got the cards. Cool, but it's hard to see what it is. Oh, Kyle. I appreciate that Arkansas wants us to buckle up for safety. It's pretty much all states do, but usually those types of signs are just past the welcome sign, like your speed limit signs and they any kind of weird course. state laws you might have. So having buckle up for safety on the welcome sign, it's okay, but it doesn't make the sign look really great. It's all right. I think the Massachusetts sign looks okay. I don't like the standard road sign font on your welcome I signs, like but I do like the rest of the sign, although that W looks more like an N. Ooh, it Overall, did. I think Georgia sign That's looks right. okay. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a lot better than the one they standard. had before, yeah. but I hate it when states have to put the governor's name on the sign, especially for Georgia when the governor's name is almost as prominent as the welcome to Georgia. True. Mm. Indiana used to always have a pretty good sign. That's I think good. it does look mm-hmm. pretty cool. Welcome to Indiana, Crossroads of America. Makes perfect sense, but they've recently put Lincoln's boyhood home on there. So that's not bad. You know, we already have Kentucky mm-hmm. and Illinois claiming Lincoln, now Indiana his boyhood home. Really? That's the best you got? Take that part <laughs> off. It's a pretty good sign otherwise. Virginia's is one of the more polarizing ones, and that I do like the black that's background like with kind a of the weird. Like t-shirt what you get yeah, when you it's go like, when you go on holiday like a proper tourist t-shirt like yeah. i love virginia yeah, something like that it actually is <laughs> font and gives it kind of a striking look that looks a lot different than other state signs but i've Can't never been a it. big fan of the virginia is for lover slogan although a lot of folks like it okay i like how rhode island sign looks Ooh, pretty small, simple but it's well, also presented in a pretty cool setting and it also instead of saying welcome it says discover Giving it a different kind of a touch. I like that. I like that. South Dakota's has the right That's look. That's good. The right slogan. But that image is super low res. But overall, they've got a better God. image. It would be a great sign. God, no. I like how Oklahoma's is pretty simple. But it also looks like pretty different. As most signs aren't white. And I like how it references its indigenous heritage. But that L in Oklahoma looks pretty weird. It does. For Hawaii, I had to cheat a little bit, being that there are no roads that lead into it. So this is the sign you see at the airport as you fly in. So I like the way it looks. It has aloha. I like the font and the flower. So it's a pretty good pretty welcome good. sign yep. coming into Hawaii. I think Delaware's looks pretty nice. I like the different shades of blue on the sign. I like the end this discovery hey, slogan. But yeah, here's for governor. This could have been a bit low down. It's pretty basic. It could have been low down for me. too close. Just like Georgia, Delaware, nobody cares who your stupid governor is. Oh! I think Kentucky's is pretty close to being a great sign. I like the font. I okay. love the slogan, Unbridled Spirit, the horse at the end, birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. It's all great, but somehow it just doesn't look quite right. I'm not sure if it's space. a monochrome look or whatever, but 
I think a little bit of a touch up, and this could be one of the best signs in the country. Okay. Ah, Maryland. Never missing an opportunity to slap a picture of its flag on everything. I think people in Maryland know that everybody else hates their flag, so they put it on pretty much everything. <laughs> I think the sign is okay, but it's kind of busy. When I do states like it. say we're busy. open for business, I like it. That I... sounds kind of desperate, and several states do that. And again, nobody cares about your governor. Your Kyle's on one. Illinois, the third state to claim Lincoln, although I do think they have the best claim to him, but. I like how the eye and the clean. sign is the shape yeah. of the state, and going right down the state is the Illinois River. So, pretty cool looking sign, and I like it. I've always liked Ooh. South Carolina's sign. That's I nice. like how the circle on the end gives it kind of a unique look, and I like the mix of the red, white, and blue. The slogan, Smiling Faces, Beautiful Places, is an okay slogan. It was on their license plates, but they're moving away from that slogan, and I think they're putting up new signs soon, but these are the ones they have right now, and I like it. Okay. This is the one that I see the most, and I think overall it looks pretty oh, good. The font is kind of no. weird, but you know you're coming into Tennessee, so you kind of know what it says. I do like it when states have the state nickname and a picture of the flag on it, so it gives kind of an introduction to the state, so okay. it says a lot without saying that much. More than any other Ooh, welcome like sign, Montana nice. is... Is that the shape of Montana? I thought it was the state of Montana, yeah. So you're mixing in the state mm -hmm. a little bit. I like that. That's a bit more personal, isn't yeah. it, to the state? the one you're most likely to see shot up with bullets or covered with stickers. It's hard to find one that hasn't been totally vandalized by wow. somebody, but I think it is an okay looking sign. I like how it's kind of in the shape of the state, although it's not very curved, so it looks kind of weird, but it's kind of simple. I like how it says Montana with some mountains in the back, so it's an overall good looking sign, although it is usually going to be shot up. Okay. This sign doesn't really wow, look that good, yet drama. somehow I like yeah, I'm it. Not a fan. I like how instead of saying, welcome to Iowa, it says, the people of Iowa welcome you. A little That's more nice. friendly that way. And I do like their slogan, feels of opportunities. It's perfect for Iowa. I like the simplicity of California's. It's the only that state where nice. all the lettering yeah. is in gold. And that looks really good on the blue background. So it's perfect for the golden state. State flowers, the golden poppy. And overall, it's just a pretty good looking sign. Cut your corners this out. is probably yeah. the most polarizing of all the Ooh. signs. And of course, like it looks that. way different than all the other ones. And this look wouldn't work at all for a state back east, but I think it does work pretty like well that. for a southwestern it's state. It's a bit unique, and, isn't it? Yeah. Like a little bit for Colorado. Oh, look at our local sign. That's yeah, nice. You know what I mean? I like it. Of course, the funny thing about this sign is if you approach the state from the east, they're coming into a very brown and flat part of the state. Not exactly colorful. Similar to Colorado, Ooh, Wisconsin has another kind of folk art woodsy sign that works pretty well for Wisconsin. This like sign that. wouldn't yeah. work in the west or the southeast, but for the north woods, the timberlands, it works pretty cool. I like how it says industry, recreation, and agriculture. So overall, it's kind of a folk art looking sign, but I like it. Yeah. But do please take off the open for business thing. It really does make your state look desperate. <laughs> Louisiana makes simple look good. Something as basic as the Pretty words basic, welcome to it. Louisiana curved over the fleur de lis just gives it a little extra touch and the bilingual message referencing its French heritage is pretty cool. I really like this sign. That is quite cool, cool to be fair. Mississippi is usually the butt of all the jokes. No, 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 nah, that no, font's no, too no. bad, isn't it? Don't Mississippi. Like Unfortunately, you've got to go down. I don't though. like that. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that font either. By the way, let us know your thoughts in the comments below on these. Pass in all the categories for everything, but the one thing it does have going for it is that it is the birthplace of America's music. So no matter what kind of pop music you listen to nowadays, it came out of Mississippi. Oh, wow. Okay. New Mexico likes to do things different, and that includes their welcome that. sign. And it's the only state in the country that has a yellow sign. And thing yellow is, is kind of I like it, but you know, it kind of looks like, like a budget Colorado. Yeah. Colorado is a bit more prominent. The wood looks a bit nicer. Yeah, there. it's a bit fakey. Yeah, it, it seems like they've, got, they've done a nice sign and just put it on a random wood yeah. board. I thought it is a budget it might Colorado, look better on, it? like, the metal ones. Yeah. I kind of like the school colors for New Mexico. I like how they keep the yellow theme running through signs and license plates. And okay. Land of Enchantment is one of my favorite state nicknames. And nice I'm such a sucker for chili peppers. I love this sign. Yeah. New Jersey's is also Ooh, pretty unique. Great. And I like how it looks kind of like it. one of those old-timey postcards. So it has kind of a retro postcard, feel yeah. to it while also being modern. Minnesota's Ooh, is another one nice. where it's not a traditional highway sign. And a I state can know. go really wrong doing like something that. like this, making it super gaudy. But... Minnesota's is pretty cool. It's a nice thing to see as you went to the state. Really nice welcome. Arizona's That's is another nice. one that I says a lot like without it. saying that much. You get the state's nickname along with the welcome message and the state symbol, which appears on its flag. And, and it's because bold. the state like symbol is so cool, it makes the overall sign look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
Florida's does a really good job of again, letting you know nice. you're entering the sub. Gorgeous right? again, top marks. It's a great sign. It's rounded. They've, they've, they've cut the curves. They've got the nickname. Car, I can tell. I'm not sure about the floor in the back, though. Yeah, we don't need it twice. twice. Yeah, we don't maybe, need it twice. Maybe that's just a one-off on that welcome sign, though. Yeah, maybe. we don't need it. We know where we are. Yeah, but I do like that. It's big yeah, as well. I like it. So, which there's a couple of images of palm trees and the sun for the O in Florida. This gives it a yeah, really like cool that. look, and you know you're coming somewhere that's going to be sunny and hot. New Hampshire's is very simple, that's very okay. classy. I like the contrast of colors. I like the bilingual message with New Hampshire being right there on the border with Quebec. And New Hampshire has the best state slogan in the country. I put some more above it. I don't think right. any sign says more with less than this one. I really, really like this That's one. Okay. I love how the S's represent the river heritage of the state. Just a very simple message. You got the sun. It does look kind of whimsical, which I generally don't like. But in this setting, I think it looks really good. And one of my absolute favorites. Okay. Yeah. Wyoming's is the Ooh, first of two that has an actual nice. real image. That's got to be the best one so far, nice. hasn't it? That is a spot on one. Yeah. That is nice. I like Wyoming's. On it, with the name superimposed, and kind of like New Jersey's, like the font mm -hmm. makes it look kind of like one of those old-timey postcards. The scene is a beautiful Wyoming scene. The cowboy in the corner makes it look great. The only thing I don't like about it is that the previous one was even better, but this oh, wow. is a really cool okay. sign and definitely like one of the mm -hmm. best. That's nice. West Virginia's is the other one that has a real well. photo on its sign, and this was the first state to do it. And it looks kind of busy, but it isn't hard to see what's going on. So it represents the state well. The words being kind of curved makes it look yeah. a little bit nicer. And you know you're coming into a state that's mostly going to be green, mostly wilderness, and it's wild and wonderful. Yeah. Good points about one. Well, it's at least wild. Compare the blue Ooh. on this sign to the blue and all. I'm not biggest fan about you. No, I don't like that. It's weird, isn't it? Because I mean. We, I think we're a little bit opposite to Carl. I think that yeah. could be a lot lower for I us, couldn't like it? That. There's a few more I'd push up. Definitely, like Wyoming, definitely yeah. way over that. Yeah, Other definitely. Ones, it is that. so much brighter. And that sunflower in the corner is really cool. Kansas is the sunflower state. It's one of the sunniest states in the country, so to have oh, a wow. really bright sign is very fitting. It's been pretty much the same sign design through the years. and There's been a few updates every now and then, but it's always looked really good. Okay. I'm definitely That's a nice. sucker for Ooh, things that are that unique, good. and this sign is definitely unique. and doesn't have to say much, but you know you're coming into a green, wooded state, and the overall sign looks like a piece of art. These are pretty new signs, so I wonder how they're going to hold up through time, but right now, they look gorgeous. Ooh, I was, I was trying to think what states we haven't had, and I was going to say mm. New Hampshire and New York. I think we had New York. But we must have had it. I can't, York was at the start. can't remember them all. No, York, New York was the worst. Was it the worst? That's probably why I can't remember. In New Ooh, Hampshire, have... I'm not sure if we've had that yet. Maybe New Hampshire will be top. I don't think we've had that, have we? Oh, we may have. Sometimes it just blends into one, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't remember. That is nice, though. We've not had Alaska. Oh, we haven't had Alaska. Definitely not. We definitely haven't had Alaska. Welcome to Utah. That is nice, isn't That's it? That's nice. I like it. And again, that is quite like a signature rock, isn't it? What people mm -hmm. have photos with. I like so that. I Whenever like I that. see this sign, it makes me smile. I'm coming into my favorite state for outdoor activities. And this is just a really good representation of the state. With the canyons and the arches in the foreground, the mountains in the background, and a really cool state slogan, this is a great sign. Although it does look like the U has a flat tire. It does. <laughs> and the best welcome sign in the country is Alaska. You called it. This thing is beautiful. That is nice. And just it's like nice. Oregon, it's like a work of art. And yes, you can drive to Alaska. You do have to go through portions of Canada to get there. But this is the sign you will see as you enter the state. Nice. I think each entrance is a little bit different based on the part of the state you're entering. But it pretty much is this sign. And it's beautiful. It's very it's hand so There you have it. An overview of the There we go. We may talk about yeah. cow a lot, but we apologize. Hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. I can't believe how roasty he was. I know cow was on one, wasn't he? I mean, we was on one a little bit as yeah. well. Enjoy that. It was good, yeah, interesting. Let us know your favourite in the comments below. Uh, I really liked Wyoming. I really did. And Colorado's. I like Colorado's. Alaska's was yeah. nice as well. But, but I like Colorado's. Yeah, I like Colorado's as well. Let us know your favourite in the comments below. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic and day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.